I'm going to show you a really delicious seasonal soup and it's a wild mushroom and chestnut soup. I'm going to talk you through the ingredients. It's so easy to make guys, honestly. It's delicious. It'll keep in your fridge and you can freeze it if you want to. So uh, I want to talk to you about, first of all, the ingredients. So these are the chestnuts. This is the way I just got this in my local Dunn stores. They come in a packet like that, if you can see, and they're already cooked. Okay, so they're cooked and ready to eat and lovely in a stuffing. So all I've done is just chopped a few of them. That's all, just, it doesn't really matter. You can do them whole, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Some lovely smoked bacon. So I'm using this really nice smoked whiskey, cured, dry cured, and that's the Bourbier quality mark. I'm a big fan of this bacon. You know that, you've seen me using it in lots of the recipes. You could put a little bit of Irish smoked duck breast into it from Skihanor in Bally de Hob in County Cork. That works really well because we actually make the soup in the restaurant. We make a vegetarian vari variation and we also make one with um, some uh, smoked duck. It's delicious. Okay, it's very, very simple, really is. The mushrooms, you're probably thinking, what about the mushrooms? So these are the mixed mushrooms here. So if you look at it, a dried oyster, shiitake and porcini, and that's the way you get them like that. So all you gotta do with the mushrooms is soak them in boiling water and leave them for about maybe what 20 minutes so that's what i've done there okay so that's that's them uh, ready uh, to be used and it reconstitutes them you could use fresh wild mushrooms but the dried ones are excellent and the, the best and most delicious uh, dried wild mushroom is the porcini known as sep it's really delicious okay we're going to start it's really, really simple as i say some lovely rapeseed oil and then some butter so a couple of little cubes of butter in here so just gonna let that warm through. I'm gonna crush the garlic. So a couple of cloves of garlic. If you're making this for kind of like a vegetarian option, no smoked bacon, obviously. Uh, a couple of cloves of garlic. So it's a great festive soup. It's rich, it's comforting, and it'll keep really, really well in, the, in your, in your uh, fridge and just warm it up. That's the beautiful thing about it. So I have one small onion, finely diced. So I'm gonna pop that into the saucepan. Scrape that in there. I'm gonna pop in the garlic. So just with my garlic uh, crusher, just literally scrape that up. And same for that. Now, in goes a little bit of the bacon. So I'm keeping the temperature nice and high. So I'm using the smoky bacon. There's something delicious about it. The chestnuts, they're already done. So they're already uh, cooked, they're peeled. So they're just wonderful. And they're lovely in a stuffing, if you like that kind of texture. So let's have a little look here. We have our lovely onion, garlic, bacon, and then we have um, the chestnuts in there. Okay. Now, one herb that works really well with this is some lovely fresh thyme. So I'm just gonna pick off a little bit. These are great little plants because uh, they keep in your kitchen. You can use them, you know, for your stuffing, uh, for roasted vegetables, even if you're cooking chicken, turkey, obviously this time of year and I'm gonna chop it really nice and fine. So just roll it all up. Now, if you find that the thyme is a little bit kind of woody, you know, the bottom of the stalks, just pick off the thyme. So curve your fingers, just watch me here, and just kind of chop this really nice and fine using the big knife. Chop, chop, chop. It's such a beautiful herb. I remember the first time I actually tasted a chestnut soup was in a very famous restaurant in um, in Paris, Joël Rubichon, and I'd never had a chestnut soup, and it blew me away. It was one of the nicest soups I've ever had, to be honest with you, and I said, I'm gonna try and recreate that. I didn't get the recipe of him, but I got the inspiration. He was a very famous French chef, had lots of Michelin stars, and that was one of his signature soups. Okay, so uh, no need to get color. That's not what I'm looking for. We're gonna put in our mushrooms next. And then I want to talk to you about a lovely um, alcohol called Madeira. So it's a, re it's a fortified wine and it is beautiful in this. You could use port, but Madeira is lovely. And it's definitely worth getting um, for like if you're putting it into a beef gravy. It is so beautiful, guys. So that's the mushrooms. Pour boiling water over them for about 20 minutes and that's what you have. It plumps them up, it makes them softer. No need to chop them because we're gonna blend all this. You could have thrown in your um, chestnuts in whole because that, that would have worked absolutely fine. In goes the Madeira. 
it's so good please try and get that it will actually really really enhance the soup now we are going to put in some stock and i want to talk to you about this lady so carol stock market this is the vegetable stock she does uh, turkey broth she does beef stock she does um, lots of different broths too and she's based in Derry. Her stuff is fantastic. So you can keep it in the fridge and you can store it in the freezer if you want to. This is a very clean product. There's no additives, there's no nasties in it. It's just pure essence from vegetables in this. Or if you're using the lovely um, chicken stock from her, it's a free range chicken. Same with the turkey and same with the beef. It's excellent. Look her up, she's wonderful. So we're, we're doing a bit of work with her with the Simply Better team and I can't wait um, to be using her products. In lots more recipes it's just very clean wonderful so just squeeze all that out so that's our vegetable stock now you could make this with a chicken stock cube which would be absolutely fine for this so that goes over there and what I have here and this is optional but this is what we do is we use half milk half cream so it's roughly about 150 mils of each that I have here and then we're gonna put a tiny little bit of salt and pepper and that's it no flour nothing like that i already have one made so i'm going to show you that in a moment so we stir this everyone and if you find that it's a little bit thick you can add more stock um you don't need to add more cream definitely not so a little touch of salt and then some black pepper and i'm going to put some black pepper into this because i'm not sure if i put the black pepper in it it put salt in. so it comes to the boil you let it simmer 20 minutes it's done and this is one that I made earlier. So you can see the mushrooms, you can see the thyme, you can see the lardons, which is a very posh name for that streaky bacon cut into little strips. And I'm just literally bringing this back to the boil. Now, if you find that it is too thick when you blend it, you can loosen it up. And that means just putting a little bit of stock into it. What I have here just for a little garnish is some smoked bacon lardons and a little bit of chestnut, that's all. I've cooked it off, I'm just gonna warm it up. And then while that's warming up, I'm gonna blend the soup. Taste it, taste it, taste it, taste it, really important. Mm. That's so good. It's just one of the nicest soups. It's that comforting, it's the whole combination. So we're gonna hand blend it. And usually in the restaurant, we put it into a Thermomix where we blend it and it gets really smooth and velvety. Whereas this one, I'm gonna leave a little bit of texture. <laughs> So you can see the color. No flour, it's not a heavy gloopy soup. It is absolutely so full of flavor. And again, you can make this if you have, say a vegetarian coming, leave out the bacon and just enjoy the chestnuts and all the other ingredients, the mushrooms. So keep blending it. And I'm going to show you the consistency now. This hand blender that I'm using is called a bar mix, so it's one of the best hand blenders. We use them uh, a lot in the restaurant. Okay, if you want it to be a little bit chefy, you can put a little bit of the smoked duck and bacon. I'm going to do that there. I just want to show you the consistency of it. So, Mella, just zoom in there. So, remember the longer you blend, the smoother it becomes. I'm keeping it really simple. So, I am. And at this stage, what I would do is let that go cold. Uh, put it into your fridge airtight container it'll keep for four or five days promise you and uh, if not you can uh, freeze it so you can make extra of it so a little bit of texture with the bacon just at the bottom of the bowl you can put in some toasted pine nuts you can put in some of the um, chestnuts which i have there and then we're just going to spoon this in very simple when you taste this I just hope you like this. Now you can pass it through a sieve if you want to. It's a very delicious, comforting soup. One of my favorites, have I said that already? Uh, a little bit of um, parsley we're just gonna chop. Not too fine. And then we're just gonna literally sprinkle that just over, just a wee bit. There we go. Very simple, really, really delicious using these gorgeous chestnuts so remember they're cooked and peeled i just got these in dunn stores just near the vegetable um selection where they keep their apples and oranges and bananas and potatoes and that and uh, you just take them out and just chop them 
Wild mushrooms, you'll get them and they're great guys. Well worth having your kitchen cupboard for a risotto, but for soup, it's so delicious. Soak them in boiling water and then you use the liquid that you soak them in. And if you can, try and get the Madeira. It works so well with that. So I hope you enjoy this very seasonal soup. That is my chestnut and wild mushroom soup with that lovely smoked bacon. A very Merry Christmas to you.